Welcome to MyBC 101, a video presentation geared towards getting you familiar with various aspects of MyBC. My name is Aaron Perino, and I will be guiding you through the various steps that you need to get familiar with OrgSync, aka MyBC. First, open a web browser page and log on to bc.edu slash mybc. Enter your username and password. This is the MyBC homepage or community homepage. This will show you what's going on with the BC community. The main banner will have important highlights or information for organizations to know. You can click on the banner to go to any event or find out more information. To navigate back to the homepage, click the MyBC icon. The right hand side will show community events that are open to the whole BC community. You might want to think about having your event appear on this side to help increase your event attendance. How to share your event on the community calendar will be reviewed in the Event Reservation 101 webinar. The top toolbar will bring you to the organizations that you are a part of and tools that your organization can use. To join an organization, Simply go to the Add Organization button on the Organization tab to find a list of organizations you are a part of. To join an organization, simply click the icon of any of the organizations listed. When you click the organization of your choice, click the Join Now button under the organization name. If there is no Join Now option, then that means you must be added to this group because it is a closed group. If you are already a member of your organization, navigate to your organization page. Click the My Organization tab on the toolbar. For our purposes, our organization will be Test Org. You will know that you are an administrator of your organization if you have the ability to edit information on the page. This option will be displayed by a pencil icon. If you are not a page administrator for your organization, please be sure to contact the administrator of your page or contact someone in the student program's office for further help. To perform many of the following tasks in this video, you will need to be a page administrator. The top three tabs show the welcome, feed, and profile. The welcome tab shows your welcome message and this describes what your organization is currently doing and can be used to display information to your membership. You can edit your welcome page to make it stand out as well as have it be the default page when navigating to your organization. To edit the section, click the pencil icon located on the bottom right of the welcome section. Let's navigate back to the main part of the portal. The Feed tab shows a history of posts that you or any you, anyone in your organization has made. The Profile tab shows your organization overview to tell others in the BC community what your organization stands for and what you do as an organization. This will also display the primary contact name and additional contact name. To edit any of this information, click the pencil icon located on the top right corner of the profile section. Let's go through the profile section to ensure all our information is up to date. Click on the pencil icon 
and it will bring you to the basic organization information section. In this section, you can edit your description, keywords, and add any external website you might have. For example, if you are a chapter of a national organization. When adding keywords, more keywords will allow your organization to be more searchable. Additionally, do not forget to upload a picture of your organization. Click Next to edit the organization contact information. This page will give us at the Student Programs Office, as well as members, a way to recognize who is the primary contact for your organization. You should use your president as primary contact and another executive board member as additional contact. Also on this page will be a field where you have to indicate who your staff or faculty advisor is. It is important that this information is current and up to date because we contact them frequently. Additionally, your faculty or staff advisor will receive a message via MyBC to confirm that he or she advises your organization. Click Next to go to the next part of the profile. Here will be a, a space where you can include the organization details. Please be sure that your responses are detailed and thorough. This information will help you later on in the year when you are completing your mid-year review. This last page will give you an opportunity to review the answers you have submitted to the profile by clicking Previous. If you are satisfied from the information, press Finish. Next, we will take a look at the various functions located on the left toolbar of your MyBC page. The left toolbar will provide you with a majority of the functions you will need to use MyBC. The People function will display all the members of your organization. You can sort this by groups that you can create. For example, the Test Portal has Primary Contacts, Officers, class of 2014 representatives, communications, among other groups. Permissions will allow various members of your organization different levels of access to the portal. Groups are helpful for members to assist them in distinguishing certain people in your organization. For example, clicking through primary contacts and administrators will sort the group to include only the people who are primary contacts. To create a new group, select the All People tab, click down, and press the green Create Group button. You can title the group anything you want. For this, we'll have RSO team. To add people to the group, go to the Add Person to Group button. You could search by name if you know the person. Or, go to all people, click the person you want to add to the group, click manage under the group section, and click which team you want to add them to. The communication function allows you to do things such as conduct polls within your organization or message the entire organization. Message from the communication section will be sent to the member's email box to their MyBC email box. Polls are a great feature to use. You can use them to conduct elections for your organization, survey the membership about a specific issue, 
or gauge interest about an upcoming event. The events function will be your only way of requesting and marketing your events for your organization. You can look up upcoming events, past events, forms for specific events, as well as attendance in this section. Please be sure to look at our Event Request 101 video to fully grasp the details around planning an event. The Files function will house files that your organization members will have access to. Located here will be forms that the Center Programs Office will have for your organizations to reference. Your constitution should be located in this folder and should be current as of this year. The Forms section will show forms that your organization will have access to. Some of these forms are ones that Student Programs has created and gave you access to, designated by the green umbrella icon. Other forms are ones that you create for things such as retreat signups, t-shirt distribution, among other things. Here's a brief look into how to construct a form from the back end. Go to create a form, enter the form name, description, and creating a page. By pressing add question, you can look at the different element builders as well as additional elements that allow you to have greater control of your form. Finally, looking at tre the treasury function will provide you access to your budget. Please be sure to look at our how to plan a budget video to get a better sense of how to use this function. An important part of your MyBC page are the settings that you designate. The settings option allows you to view your profile, permissions, welcome message, custom footer, as well as join options. The profile will show an overview of the basic organization information. Permission section will allow you to enable or disable an array of modules that can help organize your MyBC page. The welcome message is the same screen from earlier in the video. The checkbox above the text edit section allows you to make your welcome message your default page. The custom footer appears at the bottom of every page in your portal. You can upload an image, such as your organization's banner, to appear on every page in your MyBC portal. Thank you for taking time to watch our MyBC 101 video. For more questions on the functions of MyBC, stop by the Student Programs Office to talk to our amazing program ambassadors and staff.